Cheers. I've had a fantastic time watching SGDQ thus far. Keep up the great work. You can put it down if you want. Perfect. Hey. So uh, I wasn't sure exactly how we were going to follow up Mario Maker, but uh, I guess here we are. So <laughs> um, I'm Boix. Back here is Jeff, hey. Grand Pooh Bear, the one and only, and also the Pepsi Man, Frozen himself. Give it up. Run. Give it up. Which is pretty pretty solid, not gonna lie. So uh, just real quick, this is a Japanese-only uh, PlayStation One game, so it never got released here in the U.S. Uh, or it was, uh, I guess, kept there. One of the two. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start. Are we ready for a countdown? Yeah. Perfect. All right, three, two, one, go. So we did meet the cutscene percent, so we're going to watch all these glorious, glorious cutscenes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> which are all no. FMVs. <laughs> Let's start the game already. Can do. So I'm going to try and describe the plot a little bit, <laughs> uh, which is very deep. <laughs> Doing okay, buddy? I can't help it. It's so funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo, dude, let's go. So I'm going to let him talk. The voice acting. It's great. Can we talk about why a, a driver is out of breath? They want Pepsi. You hear it? And the word is that they're just about to riot. <laughs> I plan to head over there as soon as I can fix this plan. But it looks like it's going to take some time. Okay. So here's the plot. Um, so this one driver, which is the only driver in all of San Francisco... I was going to refill the only soda machine in all of San Francisco, but he got a flat tire. So it's up to us to get to the end of the stage and refill this one soda machine before the entire city riots. That is literally the lore. They need the first sequence. So we are now going through the suburbs. Oh, oh nice. Okay. So a lot of the game, obviously it's sort of an auto-scroller. So how do you speedrun this? Well, there is this handy run button. But a lot of it is also involved in making it through objects, uh, dodging, jumping, etc., sliding, and also, conveniently enough, uh, avoiding picking up any sort of soda at all in the game. So all of these Pepsi cans, I'm going to attempt to dodge, uh, if possible, or at least easily possible. Also, while I was in that garbage can, my uh, controls were reversed left-right, which was fantastic. But uh, the reason I'm avoiding these cans is that at the end of the stage, there's going to be a counter which will count how many cans I collect. So I want to collect as few as possible to make that counter go quicker. Uh, also, this furniture spawns completely randomly out of that, but it's in the same pattern every time. It's just different sized furniture. And we're at the end where there's kids and kids. Uh, you oh. might have been to a kids and kids in your day. It's pretty <laughs> I remember. Store. I remember kids and kids too. Good yeah. times. Good store. Great store. Wait, does he drink the only Pepsi he needed to put in there? No, that's a different soda machine. Oh, We're not filling that one. Oh, he just needed a nice, cold, refreshing Pepsi. Yeah, this is the secret one that Pepsi Man keeps for himself. Ah, that's why the city's rioting. You see, yeah, outside Deep the lore. kids and kids. <laughs> yeah, outside the kids and kids. I love this game so much. All right, so level two of San Francisco, freaking legendary, um, is pretty entertaining. We'll see how this goes. So one interesting thing about this game is that. They sort of intend you to do a lot of these early levels without realizing that there's a run button because the game doesn't implicitly tell you this anywhere, really. So what we're doing is we're running to cause objects to spawn at the end of the level where the draw distance is um, and then running past them after they have spawned. Oh, yeah, we're Tony Hawk. Bad. 
Are you guys keeping up with the lore? This is getting oh, kind of... No, yes. Okay. It's important. Also, we can jump like 60 feet. Dude. Right, look at that mad air, dude. Yeah. Sick air. I'm, I'm assuming all the houses he breaks into are all coke people? Uh, yes. Yes. Maybe. Oh! Whoa. Woo! There we go. Hey! Alright. So, we're off the skateboard. We'll never see Whoa. that again. Don't worry about it. Well, right, we'll run through that. So you can break objects that are thrown. Um, and I ran past that truck because I went quick enough. Perfect. So we made it to the vending machines with all these background Woo! characters from uh, Street Fighter 2. And we have now refilled the machine by putting our hand out and going, I guess. So we have saved the day. San Francisco is no longer as thirsty, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's the game. Uh, <laughs> Now you know everything about the game, and there you go. <laughs> oh, wait. Yo, another kids and kids? <laughs> oh. So this is a boss fight. Um, this one's really Yo, easy. Yo, let's go really... Sonic Adventure 2. This is... It's like... Oh, my God. So in this boss fight, uh, obviously the perspective has changed, but an interesting thing about the perspective being changed is that the objects spawn way too quick for you to really react to them in your first playthrough. So this is actually a fairly difficult level if you've never played the game before. But, um, hopefully I don't make a fool of myself talking too much. Uh, it's actually fairly simple. And there's a little uh, timeline on the top. There we go, that's the level. Which shows your distance as you're going across, so you can kind of get an idea. Uh, every single one of those boss fights takes exactly one minute. Um, and you really think that they should probably, like not put a giant rolling Pepsi can on top of a billboard? It seems no. a little dangerous. Not at all. But uh, certainly certainly still making me thirsty. So more cutscenes. It's <laughs> <laughs> too funny. Good. I know I'm doing pretty good. Thanks. Wow. What a nice guy. Oh, This guy's been to jail second. before. This is important. Have a Pepsi. <sighs> Next stage. Yeah, I'll see you there, man. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're moving on to New York. Next stage. There's four stages in the game. Um, and I'll let them talk. There's a building on fire just ahead. We need to get there immediately, but look what's happened. According to reports I have heard, they got the fire under control, but there are some people that couldn't escape fast enough and are trapped on the roof. They oh, are no. extremely exhausted, and it doesn't well, seem likely serious. that we can yeah, get dude. first aid to huh? them in time. Can't you give them something to help revive them, Pepsi Man? Okay, so let me re-go over that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this fire fireman's truck is out of gas or something, and there are literally people dying on a burning building. Oh, yeah, this is New York, the by the way. The city's on fire, dude. Uh, this is post-apocalyptic. People are yes. dead. People are dying, and we're giving so, them Pepsi to heal them. Uh, that's the entire thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, what are those signs say? Give, give me, me Pepsi, Pepsi, dude. Yes. So our, our plan is to go bring them soda, what? but not actually help them in any way get out of the fire, and probably let them die anyway. But they won't be thirsty, so that's something. I'm going to go left here to avoid picking up these cans over here on the right to save a little bit of time. Uh, this is also probably the first really hard level of the game, and we'll see in a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of time I here can't. to <laughs> hey, hey, friend. concentrate Can on the bridge, and hopefully I make it look good. Also, you can enjoy this sweet remix of the only song in this game. What? <laughs> Perfect. All right. So the reason that happened, whenever you do a run input, you have to wait for the entire animation of the run to end. If you don't wait for the entire animation, then that happens. So my spacing's a little bit off. I'm going to try and respace it. Oh, yeah, there's one up there. Uh, there we go. Perfect. We're almost at the end of the stage. And we'll run by there. There we go. So... Uh, you have to wait for the entire run animation to complete, otherwise uh -huh. it will eat your input. We have a $10 donation from Archie Owen, who says, Perfect. Thanks to the Mario Maker Runners for providing a great warm-up to the <laughs> hypest run of the marathon. My boy Boyk's running Pepsi Man! Nice. That's awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, Archie is actually uh, one of my buddies who we speed ran uh, races of this game with when I started learning the game. Oh. 
I think I think our boy Pepsi Man has a. Has oh, a by the way, it's New York, so obviously we need to be in a sewer level. Um, I question the fact that there's like toxic sewage in the sewer, but I guess it is New York. I don't know. Oh my God, what is that? Why, that's your very own bottle of Pepsi, there, friend. So not a whole lot to talk about with this level. If you wanted to read a donation for a little bit, you have a little bit of time. Actually, we have a perfect donation. The Yeti donated $5,000. Oh, yeah. Hey, all. Yeti here. We've now hit $48,000 raised from shirts. We're glued to the screen for this Pepsi Man run. That's Thank loud. you for selecting it for this event. It is truly an amazing game, worthy to become a regular fixture for events. Right? Right? Yeah, obviously. There With we the go. $5,000 from this donation to make the Ocarina Glitch Expo a reality. All right, so we're almost at the end of the stage already. Um, one of those jackhammer guys, by the way, I just straight up ran through because his hitbox doesn't work. Oh. Oh, yeah, another thing to mention, the slide button is actually exactly the same as the run button. But you can do cool stuff like this if you time it properly. And it's actually not slower to do that. It just adds an extreme amount of risk to the fact where I can kill myself. Oh, oh man, we failed the level. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Great job. New so record. The funny thing World about record. that, if you actually... S don't jump at the end, you will fall off and die, even though that is literally the win condition. <laughs> it's great. This game's so good. Uh, so we saved them from dying on top of that burning building by letting them still die on top of the burning building. But they're not thirsty anymore, yeah. which is important. Oh, uh, yeah. and also this is a red pizza truck. Keep that in mind. Did someone say SA2? And I'm going to concentrate a little bit on dodging here. He's an incredible driver, this one. Yeah. And let's see if we can... Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to do that. So this level has a bit of a safe spot. But I don't think I have enough time to drink some soda, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, I'll just relax a little bit right here. I, I'm pretty sure they just randomly placed objects on this level and didn't realize there was a big safe spot there you can just stand in. And cool. That's that stage. So we're uh, rewarded with more excellent cutscenes, which will be coming up here very shortly. We have yeah. a $5 donation from Coke, dude. Uh-oh. Oh. Whoa. No, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, 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 hey. whoa, whoa, hey. whoa. It says... There's nothing wrong with Coke. It says, Meh. curses. Fizzed again. <laughs> I'll get you yet, Pepsi man. All right. This cutscene's very important. Because it's really good. Oh, right. Pepsi for TV game. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we're moving on to Texas. Because that the makes lore. sense. The lore runs deep, dude. How, how much did that guy get paid for that scene? You Not know? enough. <laughs> So I've actually talked to that guy. I'm going to talk a little bit about him at the end of the run here. You know him? Yes. Yeah, he's... I'm going to talk a little bit later. <laughs> so, no one was hurt or killed. so this is an army but helicopter. The nowhere, They're out of gas, and a plane has crashed in Texas. Oh, God. That but thankfully, serious. nobody's hurt at all. Oh, thank They're just you. dying of thirst. So it's up no. to us to go into the desert and bring them soda while he refuels. And eventually gets them. I guess. I think what we're learning is Pepsi Man is truly the greatest hero that we've ever heard. <laughs> he is the he yeah. is the god amongst men. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is exactly what Texas looks like. <laughs> so I'm gonna Dude, run. That's loot. I'm gonna run four times here. Can we show that? And then one, two, three, four, five. There's no danger. Don't worry. Oh God, there's danger. Okay, we're fine. And all right. So the reason I ran specifically like that is the game expects you to go slowly dodging left and right between those. But if I go fast, they will spawn too quickly on the uh, front of the screen, which means they will be staggered. Oh, yeah. Got it. That is the <laughs> This swag. barrel is eat. I Oh, ah, dang. So I the worst possible pattern on that is the double bottom because it's really hard to dodge. Um, also... Thankfully, the truck driver was nice enough to stop and wait for us to get up before dropping more. 
Um, I really appreciate that attention to detail of him just really ruining our day. I have a quick question. <laughs> Go on. His billboard just saying, uh, now it's Pepsi. What was it before? Um, I believe that was the Pepsocalypse. We saw that in level two. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. The lore runs so deep. Well, all right, so there's no danger at all. Do not worry about the danger. As long as I don't mess this up, there is no danger at all. Okay, there's a little bit of danger. <laughs> All right, so these bikers are mad that we have soda, and they want soda. So we will try to avoid them. Whoop! Oh, ate my run input. And if there he perfectly go. dashes in between these, he'll, he will never get hit. Yeah, as long as I keep doing this uh, and waiting for the end of the animation. Oh, that was close, though. Yeah, there's no danger at all. Don't worry about the danger. Oh, God. There's a little bit of danger. Ate my input. All right. Oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, so every good level in Texas needs to end in a car wash, and we're oh. done. There we go. Well done, my friend. Pepsi has saved the game. So each one of those motorcycles will stop in front of you, and you're supposed to jump over them and go around. But we just kind of spent our time running in front of them instead because they're way too slow. I just want to let you know that this game is the number one watched game right now on That's Twitch. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Pepsi Man. That's so good. <laughs> We are screaming huge right now, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so I'm actually going to slide here to cause that buffalo to spawn in front of me and then cause me to slow down enough so that it will run by without me hitting it. Um, you can use that trick somewhat often in the game since the slide slows you down a few frames where you can... Uh, manipulate the game into spawning things and then dodging them. We'll see that again later. So this barrel is awful. I might fall because the hitbox on the little log that we have to go across is extremely precise and this barrel wiggles back and forth on its own for no reason. Um, no, no, okay, we're good. That was close. Amazing. So we're going through the mine of Texas. Uh, the great mine of Texas, I guess. Uh, this is sort of just a very accurately routed part of the game. So I'm just going to be doing my thing. If you had a donation, Every I do have a little bit of time. We do have a $2,134.81 oh, donation boy. from Fishbox. Thank it you. It simply says, I don't even drink Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to slide there to cause that minecart to spawn and then dodge it. Sliding slows down your movement the slight, event, the slight amount so he can manipulate how he affect, or how he gets the different obstacles. You mean how you affect it? Oh, sorry. Right, how I get All right. We saved character. those background characters from Street Fighter 2. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. <laughs> they seem pretty excited. And if you look after this, they now have soda. See? We did something. Yo, it's a party, dude. Yeah. Yeah. First try, hey, cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so boss of the stage is, uh, I think, physically impossible, but somehow we got in this situation. Oh. oh, dear. Also, there's a random ball of logs here. I think this is how logs work. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, this works. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? So this boss is probably the hardest boss when you're learning this uh, casually. Oh, just because right. these logs spawn at the bottom of the rolling log and they come from behind rather than in front like the other bosses. Um, but if you get hit at any time during the boss fight, you fall further back in the screen, which means you have less time to react to things that are spawning. So uh, the fact that they blend in with the object in the background and also give you much less time to respond means every time you get hit like that, uh, you will have less time to react to what is coming up ahead. Which uh, can be very difficult. But I think we're okay, because this is the end of the stage. There we go. You can get hit two times, and then the third time you lose on those fights. So that's it for Texas. Moving on to the fourth and final world, which is... Uh, well, first of all, we have a glorious cutscene. So let's take some time to bask in the glory that is these FMVs. This one's my favorite, by the way. I can't get over this guy. 
Wait for it. Jeez. <laughs> Pepsi for pizza. He had a pizza. That was the joke. He had a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, I feel like that guy has not showered in weeks. <laughs> All right, so last world. Uh, one thing I want to point out is this police officer has a melt on his shoulder, and it's really weird. All the roads are affected by the computer, and we can't move ahead. There isn't enough Pepsi for everyone, and violence has flared up amongst those wanting Pepsi. What? Sure. Me. People are collapsing sure. because they can't refresh themselves with Pepsi. If it continues like this, there will be a worldwide shortage of Pepsi. No. Oh, no. God, no. Can't you do something to put the All computer right, so again, back in working The order? computer in Pepsi City, which is apparently a real city, uh, has gone haywire and has stopped producing soda. So it's up to us to break into the Pepsi factory and pour soda on the computer. <laughs> which, which obviously is a good idea when your computer's broken. Yes. Look at this. That, that cop car exploded. Pepsi City Pepsi seems oh, there we go. like not a safe place. All right, so these I'm cans not a fan. are super no. annoying because they spawn randomly and sometimes sliding under them just straight up doesn't work for no good reason. Okay, we're good. I find it slightly ironic that the cans can kill you. The cans of Pepsi can kill you. Yeah, it's weird that so much Pepsi uh, branded material tries to hurt you in this game. Sort of a mixed message here. Uh, again, avoiding those cans as best I can without making it too hard. I'm going to move right here to avoid this car, which will instantly kill you if you don't move. Look at those legs moving right Dude, now. Uh, those people also, are dead. Also, do not worry about those very dead people on the side of the street. Um, oh, my God. They they are very dead, <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> the what? background of this game is phenomenal. Just All right. Um, I this hug game the, is perfect, dude. the side there to avoid that car. Alright, we'll try and get a run in there. Perfect. I'm gonna slow down slightly just to respace myself. Alright, and that is the end of that stage. Nice and easy. So the next stage is actually the hardest stage in the game. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of time to focus on that. Frozen, if yep. you could take over, Absolutely. that would be great. So, um, uh, these... Oh, We're sense. almost there. Yeah. He's got to drink a soda, man. You got to give him time. <laughs> Just to let you know, now Pepsi Man is trending on Twitter. Oh my yes. God! Yes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, so this level is very, very difficult. I may die during this stage. If I do, I apologize. It's fighting the game at this point. Yeah, he's going to be trying so. out a couple of uh, really hard strats here, the, including going through two crates when you really. Shouldn't be able to. He'll slide through those. Oh, yes. Nice. All right. That looked good. Oh. Uh, and it's really difficult. He has to stay on these conveyor belts this entire time in order to speed him up. And there are certain times where if you get hit, you'll lose 20, 30 seconds just because you'll be on conveyor belts taking you backwards. All of this is quite cycled. He's also going to be coming up to uh, probably around now. He'll be coming up to a pipe section. Oh, yes. That one. Wow. Okay. The awesome. pipe section is extremely hard to do. Diff uh, oh. Well. Um, oh no! <laughs> timing all the jumps. Uh oh! Oh, he's just in the pipe right there. Yeah, yeah. I yeah you know, it. like you do. Yeah. Yeah. So this section is extremely difficult. Yeah. Uh, all of the dashes are perfectly timed, and he gets minimal inputs or minimal frames to actually be able to jump over the obstacles. This game has frame precision. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> Godlike music. Yes. The same song repeated in different remixes. Strange. Godlike song. <laughs> Futuristic technologies beyond our comprehension. Okay, that went really well. All right, so I actually need a little bit of quiet time because this is extremely precise. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah! Alright, so there's one more level left. It's going to take exactly a minute. I can literally only lose time on this stage. Um, so time will be coming up very shortly.
Uh, we do have a cutscene afterwards, as well as credits at another cutscene. So don't worry, there is more FMV. You're welcome. Glorious Mike Butters. Oh, actually, I should be thanking you guys. Thank you so much for making that incentive, by the way. That is You're awesome. You're welcome. Uh, this game is not clear, not nearly as as uh, fun <laughs> without them. <laughs> um, by the way, I thought they learned the lesson after the first world, but <laughs> that's the Pepsi Monument, dude. You don't they, talk uh, about the great Pepsi. Monument. I think they just that. put the same can back. On. I think it's a, it's in commemoration of the Pepsi Apocalypse. So this is actually the highest APM that we will ever see on uh, a GDQ. That's advertisements per minute. Uh, we had <laughs> we had soda can uh, <laughs> machines holding up a parking garage while giant soda cans are lining the street as a giant soda can is trying to crush us with smaller soda cans underneath. And for some reason, there's Pepsi branded mailboxes because they needed something to fill the street. I don't know why. The only normal thing is the street and the lamps by the look of it. Yeah. Oh, so this tries to trick you here on the left. If you jump over there, you will automatically get hit. Ooh. And we're nearly there. So far, this has been an awesome run. Oh, oh. oh can I make it exciting? Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Oh, we got hit. Oh. <laughs> All right, time! That's Pepsi Man. Woo! So I'm going to let the cutscenes play out a little bit and talk about it, but this game is awesome. I've had a lot of fun with this already. One more FMV, though. And this is by far the most fun. Dude, turn around real quick. That's crazy. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I love Look at him go! Look at him go! So good. <laughs> Everybody Pepsi! Drink Pepsi! Yes, sir! Pepsi. GDQ, only my, only choice. my choice. Just so you know, your time was 24.47. That's really good. That's amazing. That's for very good for a choice. marathon. That's really good. Perfect. New generation. So I want to point out a name here that's going to come up a little bit uh, during these credits. These are very short. Uh, it's going to have the actors listed. And there's a very specific one. A voice actor, a little bit. There were Mike Butters. That actor in the FMV is Mike Butters. He's on Twitter. If you go and tell him how awesome he is and how much you love this game, he would so appreciate that. Yo, what's He's one of the nicest people I've ever met. What's his Twitter name? So I talked to him, actually. It's at Mike Butters. How did you meet him? On Twitter. <laughs> so I talked to him. The Japanese director during these scenes actually legitimately told him to act as poorly as possible. And he nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Uh, <laughs> Pepsi is... Oh. Uh, uh, also, that look of horror. If you drank that much soda, I'm pretty sure Excuse you'd be me. dead. So, little Oh my warning. god! <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike Butters, by the way, is the star of Saw 1, 5, and 6. You might have seen him. Uh, and that is 100% true. So, that is Pepsi Man. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for having me, GDQ. And thank you for being here. Amazing job, the boys, for your Pepsi Man run. Once again, this is Summer Games Done Quick.